Hey guys, check it out. So, I was on Facebook and uh, during the anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back, uh, can't believe it's already been 40 years, um, we start talking about these film cells I've collected over the years. So, here's all my Star Wars. And of course, you know, a lot of these have the original packaging, some don't. Um, what I'm going to do here is go through each one and show you. And I also got a screen ready to go to show you the cell itself. Um, I got 26 of these. I got 8 of the Empire and 4 of the Jedi. Now, you can see one back here has a case, it's in its case. These two right here had included their stand, and I got one that didn't have a stand. And of course, there's one I collected that didn't have a stand as well. So, um,. Let's check this out. Now, here's the front of it. These are the authentic 70 millimeter film originals. Each of them has a little addition to it. And on the back, it's kind of cool. Talks a little bit about it. Gives you a little Ralph. I like every one of these has a little Ralph McCormie uh, sketch. Each of them are individually numbered. Um, these came out in '95. There you go. So you can see that. So let's show you the film cell. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Let me put this away where it won't get damaged. This one has its packaging. I got the majority of these um, through eBay auctions. Um, few I have collected. I brought one back in 95 and lost it in my storage unit. Which when I lost everything in my storage unit prompted me to uh, start collecting again. Because I lost some other ones. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry about the glare. There, yeah, I probably better because it is still in its packaging. And let's check out the cell. Ah, see, that's a classic right there. Carrie Fisher and C three PO. I, I like that one. One of my favorites. All right. Here's another one. We can do this not for everyone, but. Just to give you an idea of the packaging. A lot of these withheld over the years. And, you know, there's, I think, one or two in my collection that didn't quite really did too well. All right. This one's with Darth Vader in the room before he starts choking somebody. I always thought that was cool. Darth Vader and his choking. This one's the hand solo edition. The back of these, each of them has a nice little thing about the sketch. This is really cool, the blaster. And of course, you know, back in the days, this is how we found out about the special features because we didn't have the internet and stuff. Let's go ahead and put it right here. See that? Oop. Maybe that'll work. Try to get some more light here. Hopefully, you're getting this. I think that's about the best one. All right. This one has a sticker on it Chewbacca edition. Each one of them has a little seal here. Here's the back here. Sorry about the glare once again. Hopefully you're seeing this. Each of them has a little, little decal here over the film from the looks of it inside the casing. They all come with these hard casings. There's a little number here. And let's go ahead. Chewbacca. 
about ready to go up there and break out Princess Leia. Sorry if I'm trying to keep this as still as possible. All right. This is a, another Princess Leia edition. I'm going to just give you the once over for the front, but the back's where it counts. I think this is the best angle here. Got the sketch, the number. Uh oh. About ready to blow up Princess Home Planet. Hopefully, you're seeing this. Trying to get the best angles here. This one, Ben Kenobi edition. Pretty cool behind the scenes pictures. Original sketch of Ben. There's your number. Uh, Ben's gonna go turn off that tractor beam so you get out of there. Hansel edition. Now the back end looks the same as the other one we saw with the Hansel edition. Let's check out the cell. Oh. Made into the trash compactor. Good old Harrison Ford. This one's Stormtrooper edition. The back's always going to be the same. This little Ralph McCormie, 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 McCormie sketches. There's your number. And this is right before they start searching the uh, Millennium Falcon before they break out. And we got our R2D2 edition. This is one of the ones that got, looks like it got damaged. I got this one at the yard sale. There's an early sketch of R2D2. A little behind, I like the behind the scenes stuff. Ooh, I love that. Well, that's when uh, I believe Uncle Luke, no, Uncle uh, Aunt Veru and Uncle, I can't remember his name now, calling Luke to eat dinner or something. Drink that blue milk. Luke Skywalker edition. Alright. Once again, it's got some cool sketches. Of Ralph McCormie. Please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it. I wound up getting that big book set of all of his art. That was pretty cool. Oh, that's him drinking his blue milk. I forgot I had that one. I just took these and stacked them up and didn't look at the order. Uh, another R2D2 edition. Alright. Cool, cool. This one's the Creature Edition. Sketch the creatures a little behind the scenes. There's George Lucas tell him to say McConkley. <laughs> I hated that. That was stupid. Alright. And it's the sand crawler driving over to Dune Sea. Alright. Creature edition. Looks like being the same as the one before. So let's take a look here. Jawas! That's when they're selling R2D2. Uncle Owen, that's his name. Oh, got it. Damn age. Ben Kenobi edition. I always like that picture. There's a number. Sketch. Alright. This one is DC3PO edition. 